When the Muslims established themselves in Medina, life wasn't completely easy for them there either. Even though the Muslim community was now growing and they were now able to live in safety and security and peace, relatively speaking, the Quraysh still were not okay with their presence and they ended up coming into conflict with them quite often. The first time they came into conflict with them is what we know as the Battle of Badr. The Battle of Badr took place in the second year of Hijra, after Hijra, meaning the migration to Medina, and it was a very difficult battle for the Muslims. Firstly, they weren't expecting to go into battle with the Quraysh. The Muslims, they were traveling and they was, there was a small group of them. They were under-equipped, they didn't have uh, weapons on them, they weren't necessarily prepared for battle. It was a group of 313 people who were going on this expedition and they ended up coming across a thousand Quraysh, fully equipped, ready for war, ready to fight the Muslims and completely squash them off the face of the earth. The Prophet وسلم, during this time when the battle was about to begin, the night before, he spent the entire night praying to Allah SWT, praying that Allah SWT gives them victory, praying that Allah SWT will help the Muslims because this army of a thousand people would very, very, just numbers wise, easily defeat the Muslims. And if Islam, and if this army, this Muslim army was defeated in this moment, then Islam will for sure not be able to survive uh, outside of the Arabian Peninsula. So the Prophet ﷺ spent his night making dua, crying to Allah SWT, making so much dua to Allah because the odds did not at all seem in his favor. But the thing with working with Allah SWT or having Allah SWT on your side is that things don't logically have to make sense. When you have Allah SWT on your, on your side, anything is possible. And Allah SWT mentions that Victory comes solely from Him. Allah SWT says, وَلَقَدْ نَصَرَكُمُ اللَّهُ بِبَدْرٍ وَأَنْتُمْ أَذِلَّةٍ Allah SWT says that He has helped you, He has given you victory when you seem to be few and weak. And this, was, this took place on the day of Badr. Allah SWT is calling out to the believers and reminding them that He has helped them. Your numbers may have seen very small, but Allah, the army of Allah SWT is not small at all. He continues the verses talking about how Allah SWT supported the Muslims with His own army, an army of 3,000 angels. And if they did what they were supposed to do, if they continued to rely on Allah SWT, then when they did, Allah SWT provided them with five 5,000 angels fighting alongside the Muslim army. Again, now think to, think to yourself, 1,000 to 5,000 and not just 5,000 people, 5,000 of Allah SWT's angels. This army of angels fighting against you, the disbelievers had no chance. And what Allah SWT is reminding us here is that it's not just what you do at, the, at night, not just the work that you put in during the daytime, but it's what you do at night as well. The Prophet ﷺ spent his night praying to Allah SWT, spent his night relying on Allah SWT, spent his night trusting on Allah SWT, and that trust, that reliance, those prayers and those du'as are what gave vi victory to the Muslims in the daytime. If you want victory in your life, when, you, when it seems that all odds are completely against you, know that solely victory comes from Allah. Our goal and objective here at Qalam is to make the knowledge and the understanding of Islam as accessible as possible to as many people as we can. Alhamdulillah, we hope and pray that this video was of benefit to you and that you benefited from the knowledge and the understanding shared here. Continue to help us reach as many people as possible and share the knowledge of our beautiful religion worldwide by going to supportqalam.com and becoming our partner in these efforts.